first spot of the day. See if there's any fish in the shallows. Oh, I thought I saw something move for it then. <laughs> Been quite a mild winter. So I would imagine there to be a few jacks about in these shallow waters at least. Um, and yeah, if I don't see any action in the shallows, we'll try to find a little deeper area. But yeah, I always start at this spot on this lake because it's near the boat house. So yeah, sort of makes sense to me. <laughs> and yeah, after this we'll move to try this, which is like the shallowest area. And after this we'll move to the deepest area. See if we see any action there. And then we'll just start doing some drifts. See if we can find what sort of see if we can find a pattern of where the fish are and whatnot. I imagine they'll be hanging around any weed if there is any. And if there's no weed, they'll be hanging around the trees and the reed beds. So yeah. Keep our eyes out, it's pretty clear today, which is good. Um, probably do a little bit of trolling today. I don't know how the motor's gonna hold up. The battery's losing power already. I've only been out on water for two minutes, but yeah, we'll see. A, there is a bit of weed on bottom actually, so could be a few pike out in open water. It is January but it's a warm January, so yeah, you never know where they're gonna be when the weather's weird. So to start with this storm. RIP jerk. Um, Curly tail, you can fish it on a straight retrieve or you can jerk it. So you fish it slow, you can fish it fast, you can fish it aggressively or you can fish it like so subtly. So yeah, seemed like a good bait to start with. Cover all basis with one bait. And with it being a shallow, shallow lake all round, not too concerned of it putting something on that needs to go deep or anything. So. Right, I'll troll up to the deep area then. I'm gonna troll super slow today as well. Slowest speed that this motor will go at. This bait will still work nicely with the curly tail, so. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we'll just slowly make our way up to the deep area. Over, keep my eyes out for some weed beds and that, but yeah, try to get to that deeper area. Put a bit of a deeper layer on when we get there and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Could pick pike up anywhere today though, which is, could be a challenge. And I can see the bottom's already caked in dead weed where I am here, so, yeah. Get this bay out a bit further. Right guys, so being here, probably like half an hour now. Uh, no signs of any fish yet, but just trolling to the top of the lake because um, the wind's blowing down. So I thought I might as well troll up to the top drift down and then trawl back up drift down and just keep repeating that throughout the day uh, and yeah see if we pull any fish out probably got like seven hours to fish now it's about nine o'clock fish till about four um so yeah we should get at least something in seven hours surely it's just going to be a matter of if they're actually going to be feeding with it being you know sixth sixth of january today so it's uh yeah, not the best time of year for lay fishing. It's cold, it's like three degrees. Uh, but last week was warm. Uh, 
so like nine degrees every day so the water temperature should should be like in high singles still at least so yeah we'll see what happens <clears throat> well i'll be very surprised if i don't see at least one pike in these trees today anyway Perfect place for him to hide out now, most of the weed's gone. That's where a lot of, last time we were here in November, I think, a lot of the bait was up in them, up in the trees. And it will still be there as well. So, a few big shoals of perch and that in the trees. So, So yeah, nothing in the trees. Fish this reed bed down and then we'll move. Move to the other side. But I remember I was here in January, January two years ago, and this reed bed right here is where like we saw most pike that day. I think we had two in open water and then last hour we got to this reed bed and they were just fucking stacked here. See if it's like that today. Might be a bit deeper in the reed bed, so it might be worth banging a spinner bait on or something and fishing deep in there. But yeah, we'll see. Well boys, finally hooked up to a fish. This one was on the troll. He's absolutely nailed that. Oh man, that just took a long time. Now this little guy. Yep. Not as small as I thought it was actually. He's inhaled the whole of that st storm. Whoa, I'm down lad. Inhaled the whole of that storm rip jerk. It's a big layer as well. Absolutely swallowed it. Don't flip. Ah. Hooks in the top of his mouth, not his rakers. But he's not cooperating. There we go. Right. Oh, just ripped my tail. The hooks was out, but he's just hooked himself again. Eight or nine pound maybe. My weight him. Just just a lock. Uh ooh. eleven and a half with the net, so what's that? I'll weigh the net after. I'll let you know after. But eight pound. Eight or nine pound, like I said. But yeah, really nice fish. He's not been out of the water yet, really. Just have a look. Insane. Ooh. 
86 86 centimeters first fish of the day <sighs> boom yes <laughs> Storm, rip jerk, RAP jerk. First, first time using this lure, first fish on the lure. Ripped my tail off, that was my fault. <laughs> because we're all in the lure with the tail, but buckle it, you get a spare one, so. No bother. <laughs> Can't believe how far in that fish took that bait then. Oh yeah, I need to weigh my net, see how heavy it was. 2.7 so yeah eight and a half we'll say <coughs> roughly eight and a half pound not bad I'm gonna fish this area quite a lot more then because I've not seen a single fish all day and this is really the only area I've not fished so yeah spend a bit more time here see if there's any more of those bad boys about Might have been a calf, but it was a fish on the surface, right there. Hoping it's not the pike I just caught. But he went back pretty nicely, so I'll well, be on the alert. It's not, it's a smaller one. He's just chilling that one. So that's the second pike I've seen in this area then. Let's see if I can rip this past him a bit deeper. That's slightly smaller than that one I just caught. Just cruising man. Weird to see him on surface then. That's what I, that's what I thought it might have been the one I caught. Um, you know, if I'd have accidentally damaged it or something, but yeah, that was definitely small. That was about five pounds of that. Just chilling, just cruising, followed there. But oh, he'll be up catching rays, that's what they'll be doing. I imagine, anyway. Catching rays. So, sunrise just come out. But that's the second pike I've seen today in the same area as I saw the first pike I saw today. Which is the one I caught, so this might be the spot to be. Two hours later. Well guys, just trawled up to the top of the lake. No interest at all. Um, we're gonna trawl across the top in Fisher Bay in the top corner. Uh, might try pitching some spinning baits into the wheat into the reed beds or whatever. Um, and then we're just going to take a steady drift down the lake, straight down the middle. Um, see if we can pick her up on that drift. So, uh, yeah, and then we'll have covered like all all the lake pretty much. Uh, so yeah, it's been a tough day. But I think I've said it a few times already in this video. It's going to be tough in January on layers, wherever you are. So the pike that is anyway. So yeah. <sighs> Freaking ready for bed. So yeah, see if we can pick up another fish. Just want one more now. And then we'll be happy. Well I'm happy anyway, I've got one. So yeah. Keep plodding on. See what happens. Alright guys, so up at the boundary line. Time for the 
big drift down. Hopefully the wind stays in the same direction. It should take us boom straight down to the bottom. Starting with this muck rubber. Not one of my favourite baits. But it's not too bad. I just like the colour of it at the minute. So we're going to bang that on. See if we can catch on this. Probably change a couple of times on this drift. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Main objective, catch a fish of any size. <laughs> Wanna at least get one hook set on, on film for this video. We've got a fish in it, but we, we missed the hook set, so yeah. Yeah. Oh no way. You flipping jogger. <laughs> I had a follower and I just whipped it out of water. Oh my god. I hate it when that happens. I'm just not paying attention. He's not gonna come back now is he? Frig me frigated frigs. Well at least I've had at least I've had another follower. That's, that's something. At least I know I'm doing something right where to get the fish's attention. <sighs> so frustrating. You know when you lift it and then you just see the tail flash away. It's like god damn it. Alright boys, it's nearly the end of the day. So I'm gonna film my outro. Very slow day. One fish, one follow, and then one like fish that was on the surface that sort of followed <laughs> so yeah pretty slow seeing just them three fish saw one dead fish but yeah not really matter does it um <coughs> but yeah i did expect it to be slow but i expected to catch two or three at least but, but at least i'm blanked so that's always good isn't it um but yeah it's not gonna be like action-packed video but it's quite hard to film an action-packed video in the middle of winter but yeah it's a video it's better than no video isn't it so i hope you've enjoyed it anyway don't forget to subscribe because in spring we're getting loads of good videos filmed and you don't want to miss them do you so yeah that's it for this video if i catch any more fish on this last bit of this drift uh, I'll be sure to put them in but if not that's it so catch you guys next time